First, congratulations on your Juno nomination. How does it feel Ontario Creates celebrating Juno nominees from Ontario? How does it feel about being part of all this? First, you can hear the buzz, the drinks are flowing, everybody's having a good time. It's absolutely amazing, completely unexpected, but also very anticipated, all of this. So all of this action and everything that's happening right now is really, really exciting. Now, what are you nominated for exactly? So my, uh, my disc is called I Ray Live, and it's um, a song cycle by Osvaldo Galihov, and it's a, um, a group of songs in Sephardic, Arabic, Hebrew, oh. Spanish, and Sardinian. Okay, wait a minute. How did you learn all of this stuff? I mean, I can barely get through English, and my French, forget about that. So I speak Arabic. I'm Lebanese, so that was easy. Um, I'm a classical singer, so we have to sing in numerous languages, and so I've always, I've sung in Spanish from the beginning, and then you just get a coach, you learn the other languages, and the style of music is so sort of interweaves in styles that it's absolutely incredible and it makes it almost easy because it's something that comes from my native tongue. Okay, so that's the part for the lyrics, but vocally, how does a classical performer like yourself train? I've, I've seen certain things, I've seen cartoons with them training, you know, with the spraying of the throat and everything. I could only imagine that it must be like being at the gym and then after you're done, yeah, somebody carry me out of here. Absolutely. So we don't use mics, um, and it's something that we are constantly working on. You're always training, you always have your team, your coaches, your teachers, like athletes, and it is a workout. You're using your entire body to make the sound, so you do have to do actual workouts that benefit the voice and also benefit you as an artist. So yes, it is absolutely like that. I'm just curious because the breathing has to be very important. Do you do swimming for this? And if so, how long can you hold your breath? I'm just curious. I am not a great swimmer, but I can hold my breath a really long time. I can believe that. <laughs> yeah. How did you get into classical music? Why classical music? Well, I started out in pop, and then I had a great teacher that kept saying, your voice is not normal. So you need to, I was 14, so if you have vibrato, you should try out this classical music. And she said, for every pop song you bring me, you have to learn an art song in another language. I said, okay, great, fine. I'll stop bringing the pop songs. It worked. And I loved it so much that it kind of became something that I could constantly grow in. I didn't feel like I had arrived anywhere. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm still working on it. So, so what are the plans for London, Ontario? Because that's where you're going to be heading. Are there going to be any appearances that you're going to be doing? Or... Are you going to be going to the galas, of course, the show itself? Yeah, so I'm going to everything, but I'm singing in the classical showcase. So everybody tune in, one to three. Um, uh, it's going to be live streamed on CBC. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, for folks who want to get in touch with you, where do they go? They can go to my website, miriamkhalil.com, or they can also visit our, our other website, againstthegraintheater.com. I will see you in London. Congratulations. You're lucky that it's the winter, because it was summer. I would have uh, going our heads under the water, holding breath contest to see who would win. And that would be amazing. <laughs> Congratulations, and thank you so much. Thank you.